This is the 48 volts DC-DC for Land Rover. It can be found on Land Rover Discovery, Range Rover, Defender, and Evoque. The DC-DC module for the 48 volts hybrid system of these models can get damaged quite easily. So today, we will show you how to test it on the platform. Now what do we need to test this 48 volts DC-DC module? A testing device. A testing platform. A 48 volts power supply. And a 12 volts battery. This is a testing platform of Land Rover 48 volts DC-DC. This side is the OBD port. This is too easily test with a diagnostic. We can read DTCs and check live data of the DC-DC module. That we can determine whether it is good or bad. This black and red wire is connected to a 12 volts battery to supply power to the testing platform. Then we can also check whether the DC-DC is activated based on whether it is charging the 12 volts battery. That's why we must use a battery. These two yellow and black wires are connected to a 48 volts power supply. These three are GND, 12 volts and 48 volts. This black plug is the communication and power plug for DC-DC. Let's first connect the connection line of this DC-DC. There will be corresponding markings on our DC-DC. For example, this 48 volts positive. This is for ground. This is for 12 volts. Then we just need to connect the corresponding cables of our testing platform. The yellow one is 48 volts of DC-DC. The black one is for ground. The red one is 12 volts of DC-DC. These two wires are connected to the positive and negative terminals of a 12 volts battery. Additionally, these two wires are connected to the positive and negative terminals of a 48 volts battery. The yellow line is connected to the positive pole of a 48 volts battery. The red one is negative. This black one is the power and communication connector for DC-DC. The testing platform is now connected to our DC-DC and has been powered on. Here we can see 48 volts. Let's turn on the power now and then press activate. This voltage has already increased from 13V to 13.9V and it's slowly rising. Indicates that DC-DC is already charging the 12V battery. If we press this activation button, and there is no change in voltage, it means that DC-DC is not charging the battery, so it is broken. 